असलम आलैकुम माइ डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मईद्दीन आहमेद इंग्लिश टीचार मैलस्टन स्कूल एंड कलेज सेक्टर फोर ब्रांच लाइक अदार डे टूडे आई एम गोईंग टू डिसक्राइब एन अदार टपिक एंड आवार टपिक उल बी प्रिपोजिशन इन दिस लेक्चार आई शैन ट्राई टू डिसक्राइब डिफारेंट कैंड अफ प्रिपोजिशन उथथ साफिसियंट एक्जाम्पल्स आई थिंक यू उल एनजय द क्लस थैंक यू Before starting the class, we need to review the previous class. In our previous lecture, we discussed about how to write a paragraph, and now we shall try to recap our previous lessons. We shall focus on the main idea. Number one, what is a paragraph? We know that a paragraph. is a series of sentences that are organized and all are related to a single topic dealing with a particular point or idea second point structure of paragraph three structures for writing a paragraph these are topic sentence supporting sentence concluding sentence i repeat again topic sentence supporting sentence and concluding sentence next point what is the ideal length of a paragraph there is no set length to a paragraph some paragraphs are only one sentence in length however a short paragraph like that should be left on the to the uh, expert writer or a specific style of writing paragraphs need to be long enough to express any given idea research paper may call for paragraphs 10 sentences or longer so this is the our previous lesson the teaching points of today's discussion first we shall learn what is preposition second importance of preposition third types of preposition and final fourth kind of preposition when you look at the night sky the moon is above your head in the sky if there is no moonlight darkness may be all around you words like above in and around are called preposition students there are some words here above in and around this is example of the preposition prepositions show relationship between words in a sentence so by applying this word above in and around we can link with one part of the another part in a single sentence the preposition can establish the relationship between other other sort so first point is what is preposition a preposition is a word that shows relationship between a noun or pronoun and some other word in the sentence very important relationship relationship between noun or pronoun and some other word in the sentence a preposition is always followed by an object either a noun or pronoun so that is example for preposition the article about insect is interesting here about is a preposition and insect is object so always preposition followed by an object here the preposition about shows the relationship between the words article and insect so with this example we can easily understand that preposition always build up relationship between 
the noun or pronoun and it followed by an article it followed by an object the object may be noun or pronoun so now that is the importance of preposition here or why we learn preposition without prepositions we cannot finish a good piece of writing or make a comprehensive and beautiful speech so it becomes very necessary to understand the types and kinds of prepositions in order to use them appropriately so without preposition we cannot finish a good piece of writing or make a comprehensive and beautiful speech so for making any speech or for delivering any speech you must need to learn appropriate use of preposition so here there are some example of preposition here so why where we can use this preposition beside a monkey beside the tree behind uh, the behind there is animal and in inside of something on a some from uh, on a monkey on the on the wood under in front of a hand is in front of, of a tree out of out of over so we can say uh, here are some examples of prepositions preposition a uh, first example is subject plus verb the cat was sleeping the cat was is a complete sentence and we can link with this sentence with a noun table by with the help of preposition here preposition is on the cat was sleeping on table he lives in paris subject and verb link with noun with the help of in she looked subject looked verb the stranger stranger is noun or object link with at he will come in january in january here january is the object of the sentence wedding ceremony will be held on 20th december i was waiting for you someone is knocking at the door she came by bus so we can see that preposition always preposition is always followed by a noun or object here are other examples of preposition first example is i found the pen on the table here the preposition is on because it is showing a relationship between pen and the table so by using preposition we can understand the relationship of pen and the table next example megan went to sleep late here the preposition is to because it shows a state in which megan is going into the final example i am watching cricket match in the bedroom i am watching cricket match in the bedroom here the preposition is in because it shows my place where i am sitting so by using on to and in we can make the relationship between to noun or noun or object different kind of activities in any particular sentence so without preposition we can think a proper sentence without making any grammatical mistake there are different kind of prepositions first of all preposition of time preposition of place preposition of direction preposition of agent preposition for 
instrument instrument mean any metal or something like that preposition for prepositional phrase preposition for as and mean the person who has done any work or a doer here as and mean doer so these are the basic types of preposition now we shall try to explain one by one different types of preposition first of all preposition of prepositions for time in on at by using this preposition we can understand preposition of time prepositions used for time of different nature are in on at etc first of all by using a we can write different type of sentence first example is month or year before month or duration of time long duration of time uh, in this case generally we use in lot of time year month etc so we can see in january in february in 1985 we can also use in uh, we can also in before year or month particular time of a day month or year in morning in evening in morning mean particularly in the time of morning in evening mean in the particular time of evening in first week very specific week in first week of january in summer specific season in summer in winter specific or particular winter season we can also preposition use before century number 3 century or specific time in past in 21st century in stored is in past in future in present so this is the example a lot for preposition now it is time for on before day on monday on saturday on friday uh, we can also use on before date on 5th of march march 5 so before specific date we can write on and also particular day on independence day on my birth day particular day mean suppose any importance day or historical importance day or your uh, birth day or some other marriage ceremony so before this type of day we shall write on next example there are uh, three example combining prepositions in on or at are usually used for different places in is usually used for place which have some boundary boundary may physical or virtual suppose i live in i live in in the room at around there are some walls so there is a boundary i live in malishan school or i live in my house so my house inside of the boundary and virtually mean suppose we are in the blessing of allah we are in the blessing of allah here virtual blessing uh, we always allah always help us with this blessing that is why it is virtual we can also using on on is used for surface suppose the book is on the table the i sat on the chair so it is used for surface at is used for specific place so i live in i live at uttara specific i live at uttara in dhaka so at is the specific place there is there are lot of places in dhaka city so uttara is one of them so right now i live in uttara 
that is why I can say I live at Uttara in Dhaka. There are also some examples here. She lives in New York. The wedding ceremony will be held in the hall. The teacher wrote a sentence on a book. His house is at the end of the street. Now, prepositions for direction. So, for preposition for direction, we can uh, we use two two words through into this type of word. Prepositions like to towards throw into are used to describe the direction. Following example will help in better understanding. Suppose she went to the library. It indicates the direction. She is going to the library. She was going to the library. She went to the library. Uh, he jumped into the river. He jumped into the river. From the bank of the river, he jumped into the river. So here, uh, by using into, he also use movement or speed. So in this case, we can use into. Suppose we entered into my, he entered into my room. So by using speed or movement. He entered into my room. So whenever we use into, make sure that there is a question about movement or there is a available opportunity for movement. So we can say he jumped into the river. With movement, he jumped into the river. Next example, he ran away when he felt that someone was coming towards him. Prepositions for agent. Agent I have discussed earlier who is agent. Preposition for agent is used for a thing which is cause for another thing in the sentence. Such prepositions are by, with, etc. So agent means a person or any anything who has done any work. Suppose the book is written by Shakespeare. Here the book is written by a, a person, his name is Shakespeare. And next example, the work was completed by him. A work cannot complete by itself. It has to be done by someone. That is why the work, uh, the work was completed by him. Here he is the agent of this work or performer of the work. Preposition for device, instrument, or machine. Different prepositions are used by different devices, instruments, or machines. Example, by, with, on. Um, sentence example, she comes by the bus daily. Look at here. Her bus is the device or instrument or machine she comes with the help of bus that is why before bus we write by at the same time second example he opened the lock with key here with is the machine here with is the preposition and key is the machine so before machine or before device or before instrument, we write down preposition. Prepositional phrase. It is advanced level of preposition. Though it is not uh, use subject matter, but for better understanding, I have arranged here. Every prepositional phrase is a series of words made up of a preposition and its object. The object may be a noun, pronoun, gerund, or clause. A prepositional phrase functions as an adjective or adverb. Very important, last line. A prepositional phrase functions 
as an adjective or adverb in any particular sentence suppose here preposition next to and preposition place will be next to the tall trees so is the preposition it became preposition place by do uh, the school halls through the school halls on preposition preposition place on his nose around preposition prepositional place around the neighborhood in preposition prepositional place is in the hospital so by this way we can write prepositional place there are some example by using prepositional place according to the weather forecast like a beautiful so on across many desert after many tries amid the confusion around the wall before we start the meeting between a rock and a hard place by the light of the moon like a beautiful swan near the ocean of my boss of the top out of door through the looking glass throughout the thick forest to the amusement park these are the common example of prepositional place in previous slides slides we discuss about types of preposition now we shall discuss about kinds of preposition have a look it there are five kinds of preposition these are simple preposition compound preposition double prepositions participle prepositions place prepositions these are the five types of preposition simple preposition simple prepositions are words like in on at about over under of for to this are example of simple preposition so by using this we can uh, write some example she sat on the sofa he is going to the market he fell of the load uh, ladder there is some water in the bottle these are called simple preposition now we shall discuss about the compound prepositions compound prepositions are what like without within inside outside into beneath below behind between etc uh, compound preposition example he fell into the river she sat between her kids he sat beside her there is nothing said the jar the teacher stood behind the desk the boy ran across the road double prepositions double prepositions are words like outside of out of from behind from beneath etc two preposition side by side meaning a singular from behind outside of from beneath each and every where there are two prepositions so example with this double preposition is suddenly he emerged from behind the curtain he walked out of the compound so this is the example of the double prepositions participle prepositions participle prepositions are words like concerning not withstanding pending considering etc some example with participle prepositions there was little chance of success not withstanding they decided to go ahead you did the job well considering your age and inexperience praise prepositions i have discussed praise preposition some few slide earlier for a better understanding i again this i am again discussing about the praise prepositions praise prepositions sal praises like because of by means of with regard to on behalf of instead of on account of in opposition to for the sake of etc some some examples are i am standing here on behalf of my friends and colleagues 
the match was cancelled because of the rain he succeeded by means of preservance now homework today homework is learn exercise from navodot book thank you very much for listening the lecture carefully please do not go outside stay at home and always try to help your parents in their different activities allah bless